Welcome one and all to another episode of Talking to Myself News. I am Kevin the Skull Anderson, aka the Skull31 on DeviantArt, aka Scully KTA on Twitter, aka Scully the Socially Awkward Autist on Tumblr. And ladies and gentlemen, we have some news for you today. <laughs> Oi, ladies and gentlemen, we all have some breaking news for all of you. So, let's get started. So apparently, Greg Allman has been experiencing a bunch of physical problems over the last several years prior to his death. And he has died just a few days ago, aged 69. And most people don't realize it, but... He pretty much iconicized Southern Rock and inspired countless generations of Southern Rockers. Namely, Hank Williams III, among others, and so on and so on and so forth. I mean, does it make a damn at this point? Greg Allman is dead. He died young. Let's just fucking move on. Actually, Priya, you know, that's not a bad idea. I think we should move on and move to another topic. What do you think? Oi, absolutely. Let's move on to another topic and get some stuff going there. I mean, it's not like anyone cares about death anyway. Hey, 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 guys, look, look, look. I found something. I found something. You're kidding. Yeah, yeah, take a look. So tell me what that would be, man. Seriously, tell me what that thing that you discovered is. Go ahead and tell us. See, there's a guy with Down syndrome, he's only 12, and I, I look up to this guy now, cause he done opened up a cupcake shop alongside his mother. And, and basically what it all boils down to is, he's a successful businessman and he's only 12. Wait, is that a double standard? Well, I, uh... No, 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 wait, 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 don't answer that. It is a double standard, isn't it? Adolescents with Down syndrome can open up a business with their families, and people with autism spectrum, like, say, Kevin Anderson, can get anywhere in life because he's being told that he's not allowed to get a job outside of his own home unless he's responsible enough to do all of his own chores inside the home without having to be told. Now, what the hell kind of bullshit contradictions is that, man? Fuck. And now let's look at this day in history, May the 28th. Shall we? Right, well, well, let's just flip that shit over. Cause honestly, I don't even care anymore. There's too much shit here. Just get on with it already. For God's sake. All right. Did you know that on May the 28th, 1830, the sellout of all America, Andrew Jackson signed the Indian Removal Act, thus killing much of the population of the Native American community. Hey, I got something even better. On that same day, 33 years later, in 1863, an African American regiment departs for compact. Or is it combat? I forget. It's combat, you dumbass. Right. Well, the 54 Massachusetts Infantry leaves Boston for compact in the South in 1863. Now, somebody, how the hell do you explain that? I guess that's what gave the devil his due. Then again, I don't know much of anything, so I just don't give a shit. Come to think of it, on that same day, in 1918, 99 years ago, American troops scored a victory at Cagtigny. 
during World War One. How the hell is that possible? Let me tell you. An Allied force including a full brigade of 4,000 U.S. soldiers captured a village of Cantigny on the Somme River in France from their German enemy during the First Great World War. That was 99 years ago. Nobody gives a fuck about that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Does it matter at this point? No. And think about this. May 28th, 1929, Right before the Great Depression began with the stock market crash that would happen in October of that year, the first all-color talking picture produced by Warner Brothers opened up in New York. And now, on with the show. That's a fourth wall break. Five years later on that day, in 1934, the world's first quintuplets were born in Calendar, Ontario, to the Dion's. They were also the first quintuplets to survive infancy. Wasn't that some 83 years ago? Come on, man, we're traveling in time. Let's get with it. Uh, all right. Oi, did you know on that same day in 1937, the first Prime Minister of Britain, Neville Chamberlain, ascends to his position as the first Prime Minister of Britain. Crikey! That must have been some weird shit there. Rest in peace, Steve Irwin. You will be missed. He died of a stingray sting, right? That's right. And then, of course, Volkswagen was founded. On that very same day, on that very same year, then of course, too much long after that, 1,095 days later, Belgium surrenders to Germany. What the fuck, man? I mean, that don't make no damn sense. Oi, 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 oi. What about Amnesty International? Weren't they founded in 1961? Uh... Uh, I don't, I don't... They were, won't they? Well, I guess so. I don't know. Hey, do me a favor and fuck off out of here! Yes, chef. Damn, man! That's how I would treat my nine-year-old! Hey, hey, so who's the fucking smart ass here? I meant no disrespect, sir. And then, of course, 40 years ago on this day, 165 people were killed, when a fire broke out at the Beverly Hills Supper Club in Southgate, Kentucky. Yeah, but what they don't tell you on the news is that the investigators at the time cited false electrical wiring, fire safety code violations, and overcrowding. Too many fucking people in there, man. Fucking ridiculous. There's too much shit here. And then on May the 28th, that very same day, 365 times 10 days later, I'm guessing that would be 3,652 days, considering that there were either two or three leap years prior to 1987 and after 1977. But wouldn't that be 3,653 days from that? She has a good point. Of course I do. Yeah, pretty much. Now you ain't gonna believe this. Soviets were embarrassed as hell when a young West German pilot named Matthias Rust landed a private plane in Moscow's Red Square without authorization. Gorbachev must have been really pissed. Yeah! No shit! You think? And on that note, let's now end this video with a very hot woman story about a hospital who threw a prom for a bunch of sick patients who were physically unable to attend their own. Could you imagine the reaction of those patients' families? That must have been beautiful. Very, very beautiful. There's no! Me, shut up!
You damn fool! That was a Freezing Moon reference by Mayhem, in case you're wondering. And by the way, Kevin's using this under fair use under the Copyright Act of 1976. So just know that. I thought I told you all to get out of my video! The hell do you mean by that, man? Yeah, seriously, I'm I'm wanna know too. I'll see you folks next time. Goodbye.